Hey guys, welcome to the channel. It's been a while since I've posted, but I'm back in the studio and ready to get back to work. I'm really excited to show you guys these two pieces that I did recently. Started with two old paintings that just weren't working. And so, a bittersweet moment of covering up the old for the sake of going onward towards the new. It's always hard to sometimes to paint over old paintings but as I'm sure a lot of you know, if you're stuck and things just aren't working, sometimes you just need a completely new, clean slate. So that's what's happening here. And it happens all the time. I like to say under every completed painting, there's about three to four uncompleted paintings. Now for these two paintings, I wanna try something that I haven't tried before. Using some scrap canvas I have laying around, I wanna add it on, add some texture, use a little mixed media action. Um, not sure how it's gonna turn out, so it's gonna be a lot of just trial and error, but I'm gonna try to make these two kind of similar to each other. So you'll see me working on both of them simultaneously. Uh, you can see here, I'm just kind of making some scratches, some marks with pencil, uh, colored pencil, uh, charcoal, just to kind of give some scrapes and kind of some visual edge on the underlying canvas and here uh, I'm just adding these scraps like I said uh, stapling them on just to uh, very temporarily just to get a look see of how it's gonna look adding some more with some oil pastel and some uh, some other neutral colors like this yellow and a little tiny bit of green trying to keep it very uh, neutral with grays light whites, off color whites. Uh, you can see the dark gray there at the bottom and some light browns. Just keep it a real earthy tone type of feel. I'm not really sure exactly what I want it to look like, so I'm just trying out different colors of strips at different sizes, different widths, different heights, just to see what looks good. And um, here I've chosen this tan colored a strip of canvas and I'm gluing it on just with a construction adhesive looks like a, it's just a white glue uh, Come to find out it works really well works really well as we'll see later when I try and pull it off As maybe you've seen from some of my previous videos I like to achieve this kind of misty layered effect using watered-down acrylics uh, and then a rag to kind of wipe off top layers, spray it down with water and continue that process. So that's what I was doing there. So for the second one, I'm adding this off-white piece down at the bottom, gluing it up, putting it next to both. Oh, I thought those looked great for about two seconds. I didn't want to give up on these glue-on strips. I thought they looked cool, and if I kept working them, it could be nice. 
until I did want to give up on him, and so I took them all off. And so now we're back at just two regular canvases. Look at that. There's little triangle marks on the top of this one are made with oil pastels and then the bottom two as you saw previously is this spray paint, gold spray paint. I like these colors, uh, the, the, the wash I'm putting on top of this gray right now. It's kind of a, a yellow, misty yellow and I find, wow, they really create a cool effect if you layer them. And with enough just pushing and pulling of these colors and these materials, I eventually finished them. I really like how they turned out. <laughs> 